My name's Margaret Tadros. I'm the owner of the Bilpin Fruit Bowl. We've been here for 35 years now. Uh, we've owned the farm and the shop since 1984. We were impacted by these fires on the 21st of December. We got hit twice. At 1pm, when the fire came from the westerly direction, it went through and then 4.35 o'clock when the southerly hit, it spun around and came back. With the second fire, that's when we lost what we lost here in the farm. Bilpin is a huge apple growing industry. People come to Bilpin to get fresh apples. It's known as the apple industry. This is what people want. They want to come here and know they're getting fresh produce. In summer months when the farms are open, people can come and do fruit picking. That's when everybody's here. And this is the trade that everybody missed out on. And everyone's now playing catch up. going to be very, very difficult to come back from these fires without any government assistance. This is a 55 acre farm. We have about 15,000 trees on this farm and 6,000 of them burnt. There was a lot of embers flying over. Embers flew onto the top of the hail netting, burnt through the hail netting, landed on the ground, set the trees alight, and then the trees, the radiant heat from the trees, melted all the netting above it. So you can see the, the netting's just fallen all over the place. It's just burnt from up above and just dropped on the trees. This block of apples that was uh, damaged in the fire has seven and a half kilometres of irrigation through it. So you can see it's just completely burnt. It was a drip system under every tree. So this seven and a half kilometres also needs to be replaced as well. This infrastructure that we've lost here is in excess of two and a half million dollars. This is not something we did in one go. This is something that we've done over the 35 years. You do a block a year and you put trellising up and you do it bit by bit. So it was all paid for. But to come back from this and virtually say, okay, well, we'll just replant, restructure, do it all, impossible. We don't have the funds to be able to do that. So it won't come back. The Bilpin Fruit Bowl has been in Bilpin, as far as I know, since 1971. It's one of the most iconic places in the Hawkesbury district. You talk about Bilpin to anybody, and if people know Bilpin, they automatically associate Bilpin with the Fruit Bowl. This will affect the local economy in a big way because we're one of probably the biggest pick your own farms in the area. If we don't have the fruit, then the other farms aren't as big as what we are, so they won't have the fruit either. Up to now, there have been a few grants put out by the government but we've been ineligible for those grants due to the fine criteria. The criteria is that we don't earn 50% or more from the farm. But this is a 55 acre farm. We have about 15,000 trees on this farm and 6,000 of them burnt. We would like to see that criteria changed to allow it open to everybody and that become available. We, um, we just need the government to, to step up and, and put their hand up and say that they're going to help the farmers. general public has been amazing. The support we've received from everybody that just keeps coming up here, just saying we're here to support you, we want to help you out. You know, people coming in trying to give us donations all the time, which we, we won't take the donations, they're here. We say to them, you're here, 
you're spending money, that's what we want. We won't actually take the donation. It's restored our faith in human nature, unbelievably restored our faith. You know, and now it's our turn now to pay it forward, which is what we want to try and do, because I believe strongly in paying it forward. Cannot begin to thank people enough for their support.